Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to show you how to create an iGoogle gadget. So, uh, if you don't know what iGoogle is, is it's basically the Google page when you click when you're not in the classic home. Uh, if you're like, you know, this is the classic home, and then you just right click up here and click iGoogle. So basically, I'm going to show you how to create these gadgets that you see so much of. Now, this is actually pretty easier, a lot easier than you think. So, why would I want to do this? Well, if you create a website, you basically know how to create a gadget, basically. But, chances are people are not going to type in your whole URL and actually go to your website all the time. Because people are lazy, and a lot of people have Google as their home page. So, then instead of bringing, instead of they going to your website, you're bringing your website to them right at their home page. So they actually could see what's new. So, like, if you have a blogging website or, or posting blogs like these, they give you the news right on your home page. So, for the lazy people that actually don't want to, you know, check out the website, they have the website content right in front of them. So, let's get started in creating our iGoogle gadget. First thing you'll, what you'll need is this vanity do. It basically checks your gadget to tell you, just read this, test your gadget, and basically it tells you if you should publish it or not. So it t tells you all the errors or mess ups in your gadgets. So I'll provide a link in the description for this. Second thing you need is this. Now this lets you test your gadget. Basically you put in the URL of your gadget. So blah 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 dot whatever. So dot com slash blah 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 dot xml. And then click add and it will add the gadget to the thing. And also what this does, it lets you see the source code of a different gadget. So if I want to see how they made the Gmail gadget. I have to, like, uh, let's see, built in Gmail, that will be Gmail. Just click on that, and it's, you could see it highlights Gmail in yellow. Click OK, and basically it shows you all the source code from that gadget. Uh, you could uncheck the cat's box, but it's not checked anyway. So, yeah. So let's actually begin developing. So, you could add, click add stuff and click I Google for developers and click getting started. And this will tell you a whole bunch of getting started, but I'm too lazy to talk about all this. So I'm just going to talk about the general way of getting beginning your I Google gadget. So, yeah, this is a hello world gadget. So basically, creating a gadget is extremely easy. All you need to know is HTML and maybe CSS and JavaScript if you want to make it better. So basically, every, basically, every gadget for my Google is an XML file. So, you just have to type in this code, which I'll provide a link for the code too, I guess. Maybe I won't. And then what you have to do is you have to save it as an XML file. So, go up and save it as all files and save it a uh, test dot xml so as you can see notepad plus plus already changed the color to so the xml now all you have to do is basically add your html code in the c data so add any of your html code for that you want on your gadget so uh, i don't have to create a body or anything but I'm just gonna create some basic html so make a header and just make it whatever you want. So I'm just going to make a header and say, Hello, YouTubers. And then all I have to do is save it. Press Control S. Go to my browser. So I'll oh, I close my browser. So go to my browser. And go to uh, uh, iGoogle. And I signed out apparently. So I'm going to sign in. Okay, so I signed in. No, I don't want to save my password. Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to provide the link 
of where I upload it to. So upload it to any server that lets you host files. I just saved it in Dropbox. So I'm gonna find it. Uh, face this now. Let you test that XML and copy the link. And now all I have to do is paste the link of where it's uploaded over here and click OK. Wait, and you use my gadget. It's hello, YouTubers. So already I created, I created a pretty cool gadget with just XML and HTML. Now also, if you notice, some gadgets have a title. Well, mostly all gadgets have a title. So basically, what you use a few other tags you could put in. You could put a height. You specify the height of the gadget. Uh, I minimize the job. So you could put a description. So this is an epic gadget. A URL and the author, the email. And also, going to be to the title URL, some gadgets, when you click them, it will take you to their websites, uh, a website. Others, like this one, doesn't do anything when you click them, it's just like a moving thing. So, basically, to add a title, you have to go to the module prefs, and just type in title, and then put whatever you want your title to be, so, test gadget. How do you spell gadget? Oh wow, that's embarrassing. And then you can make a height. I'll make it this real big just to show you the height does work. Uh, make it 500. And just save it and it will update as I refresh my page. Oh, why didn't it update? Refresh it again and it updated. So what you want to do is you want to unclick the tap catch button so I paused the video and saw why you don't want this to be checked so it will update itself automatically so as you can see it's a pretty big height right now uh, I'll make it a normal height maybe 200 and that's pretty much it so that's all you have to know is HTML basically all all your HTML is in, is in the C data and then you could put a title and maybe I'll show you some other stuff to actually create a pretty advanced gadget like a gadget that gets content like this gadget on how to dynamically update but maybe not. Let's see if people like this video. Thanks for watching and bye.